What's up? So, uh, I guess it's Boomer Rants in a subtropical forest right now. Look at that tree, it's enormous. Um, so, I don't think I mentioned uh, in a video before, I mean, I said it on the last live stream, but this week, actually, the, by the time you're seeing this, I might already be back, but um, this week, I'm going on a vacation for, uh, well, actually, I'm already on it. I'm sort of in the middle of nowhere. I'm at a area of land, actually, you know what, I think I'm on a parcel of land that my family owns, but I might actually not be. I might be trespassing. I'm not entirely sure how the land is divided, but uh, I'm here. I would tell you where I am, but that would, uh, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm somewhere near some river. Um, I was actually trying to get to the river, or I drove as close as I could to the river, and I was going to walk the rest of the way. But uh, this place is a little lower than I thought, and uh, actually this whole area, maybe I'll show it to you, is flooded over, so I had to cross through this marshy area. Now, I've, I've been here a lot as a kid. You know, we used to come to the river, and uh, I don't ever remember it being this uh, complicated, just because, I don't know, I guess it's just flooded today. But you'll see, that's the road. As you can see, that's not gonna work, and I think the road is supposed to go, oh yeah, you can still sort of see it here. That's towards the river. In fact, the river is right over this hill, I think if I remember right. Hopefully it is. I could be just on someone else's land. <laughs> I don't think I am, but I haven't been here since I was a kid. Look at these trees are enormous. So hurricanes, of course, uh, strike the southeast every once in a while. So this place will flood pretty deeply. But um, I think the worst that's ever been in my life is when Katrina hit. But uh, for whatever reason, it's just weirdly flood. Okay, so this is really weird. So I'm looking at this water level, so there's the river. But the water level back there, where it was flooded, that's much higher than the river is. Not quite sure, I guess it's just, I don't know, flowed in from some, some kind of rainstorm. It, I don't know, I, I don't think it's actually rained that much recently. But, um, so when I'm talking about boom, building my boomer cabin, uh, as you know, I've been looking for land for that, but I might actually just build it on family land. I like this, well, I don't want to say I dislike this place, but I, um, maybe the weather isn't exactly what I want. I mean, it's basically subtropical, but there is this nice river and stuff. And, uh, you know, theoretically, I think I might inherit this land. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know, I don't know who else would, to be honest. <laughs> uh, maybe my brother. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's the river. There it is. Nothing doxing. Okay, yeah, I can just show you the river. Yep. Nothing interesting. Uh, let's see. Well, there's nothing dock doxing, but there are a couple docks over there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, when I was a kid, I remember coming here and collecting like a lizard skeleton or something around here. It looks relatively similar. Obviously, some trees have fallen. You know, some of those big ones. You can even see that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can. So there's some big trees that have fallen and stuff, but it's pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually our land. I could be on someone else's, but... So anyway, uh, I'm gonna be in the, uh, I guess what you might call the middle of nowhere for a couple weeks, or no, well, really just probably a full week, and then some, just to uh, theoretically work on my dissertation, which I may or may not do, theoretically work on videos, which I may or may not do. Um, I guess this is a video, but it's more of a vlog kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, this place is, I don't know, there's, uh, I don't know, just something interesting about it. Again, like, places like this, I think they're too hot a little. Uh, but the nice thing is, um, you know, the whole place is tree cover. It is, like, subtropical. Oh, jeez, I'm so glad I brought all my boot cleaning materials, because I just, my entire foot was encased in mud. Um, yeah, these places are just a little warm, but the whole thing is, like, totally tree covered. So I don't feel, um, you know, even in the summer... It gets, it gets humid, but uh, it's not that bad. Um, at least I'm used to it. I know some people whine about everything, but I don't even have hair to fluff up anymore, so I have nothing to complain about. And, uh, you know, if there's one thing I miss from Arizona, or I mean, I began to miss while I was in Arizona, it's humidity, you know? Humidity, you just take it for granted when you live around it the whole time, because it, like, uh, people complain about it, but... Um, you know, it's like it never it gets too cold during the night. It's like a nice warm blanket on you. So, uh, 
sort of wonder if there are any neighbors around here. I know there are people who live relatively close. But look at this. That's a huge... I don't even know what kind... No, not that tree. That one. That's a big tree. I don't know. A huge knot on it. I don't know what the deal is with that. So I'm really just exploring at this point. Just to get a lay of the land. I tried... A couple years ago I came here. Or maybe it was just last year. Um, but my car, like the road into this place was like total, t a huge mess. So I'll go ahead and tell you, um, you know, a lot of the areas around here, I mean, there are a couple farmers that live around here and, you know, well, sometimes like they have big crops or something. I think people will grow tobacco and stuff, but, um, a lot of my family members have land around here and they grow pine trees. So, um, which is actually really common if you go to South Georgia, South Florida, uh, or North Florida, or, um, just a lot of places, rural places, just because you can have a pine tree farm and it doesn't really take that much maintenance by the person who owns it. Uh, really, it's, it's honestly sort of weird, like most of the people, well not really weird, but um, you know, my family has this land and uh, basically what they do is they rent it out to companies who sell, like collect and maintain the land and sell the pine straw for a profit. And of course they pay us to use the land. So it's nice because, um, you know, a lot of people do this in rural areas just because uh, you don't have to live around there. And it's a nice thing just to get make some money off land that, you know, you might happen to have. So this portion, of course, this is totally, I mean, relatively untamed, just sort of a marshy area. And then you have sort of a typical forest ahead. But as you get further away from the river, we actually have, you know, pine trees all in a row. Maybe I'll show you that. I'm going to try and get through the swampy area first. We'll try and do that. So I'm back here and I had to, it's not very deep. I could just walk through, but I would get my pants absolutely filthy. So I sort of found a way through this area on the high ground. Only requires a couple steps through mud. Um, I really just don't want to, I got to go to church tomorrow. So I don't want to get my shoes too dirty. Um, I only brought one pair of boots. In fact, I only have one pair of good boots, and I clean them relatively often. Um, oh, if you were expecting a real boomer rant, obviously this isn't one. I'm just sort of, this is what in the old days they called a vlog, um, which people are going to complain about because, you know, the thing is, this isn't, this channel, this is not Luke's soy dev tips. Or something like that. This is just I put up whatever. I mean, the channel's literally named after me, so you're gonna get what I'm, whatever I'm given. And this is what I'm given right now. This is what I'm doing. Okay, so I made it most of the way. So as you can see, this place is normally, or, or I don't know, maybe it always was when I was a kid, but I don't remember this place being all flooded out. And if you go further down, if you look further down, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all algae in the swamp. So I feel like maybe this is, I don't know, I don't remember the swampy area last time I was here. Um, I guess last time I, hear, I was here I couldn't get this far out just because the road into here was like untamed. But I think the Mexicans cleaned it up. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. There are all so many Mexicans around here. I mean, you think, um, you, you think of when like you move to the U.S., right? Uh, if you're like a Mexican or something, you, you'd think you'd go to like a big city or something, but in places like this, like, who lives around here? Bunch of old boomers nowadays. And the kids want to go be bug, ur, urban bugmen, so they move into big cities. And who's left to tend to the trees? Well, no one. So they bring in a bunch of Mexicans. Oh, okay, so I'm past the swamp. Now I just need to, okay, get through this area. So like, the, this area actually has a, considering how small it is, um, there are a bunch of Mexicans, we'll just say that. Uh, let's see. Which wasn't the case 10 years ago, but that's how it is. Uh, they have like Mexican, or not Mexican day, it's like Dia de Hispanidad or something. Uh, so like the other non-Mexican Mexicans can participate. Uh, let's see. Anyway, they have stuff like that in the town. Okay, I need to actually think of what the best way to get through all this is. All right, this is the portion where I get a tick. I hate ticks. Um, Okay, I'm gonna have to clean my boots, definitely. Okay, all right, I think I made it. Oh yeah, I made it. Ugh. So, okay, now I gotta get back to my car. 
I haven't actually seen, usually when I'm out here, you see a lot of wildlife. Um, you know, if you go walking in the mornings, you'll run across a couple deer, you know, just you walking all over the place. But I haven't seen anything now. There are huge, huge birds up there. I don't know if you can see, I don't even know what they are. Uh, some kind of hawk or something, I can't, I can't really make it out. But they are huge. I don't think it comes over on the camera, but they're like, I don't know if they, they're like, the size of my upper body, body at least. Uh, okay. Then again, I don't work out, so. So that's my fault. All right. So now I'm back. I've now crossed the swamp. Uh, let's see. So back there. So I know, I know it's sort of annoying to like put my face in front while I'm pointing at something, but I can't really see what I'm aiming at unless I'm like in front of the the phone, so it's not me like trying to be, it's like, you know. Um, anyway, let's get my car. I know I cheated. I took a car half the way here. Where's my keys? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do video editing. <sighs> Where did I put my key? All right, Boomer Ransom car. Give me a second, I gotta get my keys. See kids, it's just like we were actually friends and hanging out. That's what a vlog's like. Now I think it's against the law to drive with a cell phone like this, but I'm gonna do it. Because we're on private property, kids. Government, get out. Um, yeah, so this whole place. Anyway, maybe I should show you what I'm talking about. So, you know, here, these haven't been cleaned out, but this is like the pine trees. Um, that actually I don't know if these are owned by us or someone else the property line is sort of weird around here but you can see they're all planted in rows I mean if you go around into the country you're gonna see this kind of stuff you've probably seen it a million times um, unless you just have never gotten out of the Bugman city um, so anyway now there are a couple neighbors up here but I don't know them I've never met them and uh, oh the Mexicans left their uh, I don't know, it might not have been, even be Mexicans. I don't know if they're Mexicans here, but they left their John Deere's out here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, oh, my poor car running over all these limbs. Anyway, so I gotta turn off the phone soon because I'll eventually be at the main road. But uh, so that's what I'm doing this week. Just sort of hanging out. Um, okay, yeah, it sounds like I'm running over people, but don't worry. Uh, just sort of hanging out, doing stuff, taking, taking the time, taking my time off and uh, I don't know just doing whatever for a while been doing some reading gonna be recording videos stuff like that or really just doing nothing just because that's the boomer lifestyle but uh, anyway so eventually depending on where exactly I don't know if we own this portion or not but I might someday in the future build a boomer house out here you never know if one of my relatives doesn't before me but um, it's a possibility if I don't buy new land. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. See you guys next time. This has been enough of a vlog. Maybe I'll do another one later, but uh, I will see you Zoomers next time.